Hi guys. Hello. Hey, hello. We are back and we have the pups again um, this week. We'll see if they're going to be as crazy and... Oh, there you go. Oh, well, there you go. So it's Britt and Gwendolyn, Miles and Winston coming to you live from our van down by the river. <laughs> Okay. All right. So let's get serious. We get a lot of questions. So we're trying to really answer your questions or questions that we see repeated. So we met with um, some friends uh, last week that we love. And their first question was like, how do you get your mail? And it got us thinking, we get that question a lot. So mm -hmm. we're going to break it down for you. We did a blog post about it. So, um, if you can't watch this whole video or you don't like my voice and you think we're annoying, could be, I'm okay with that. Um, check out the blog post because we, we lay it out. So number one, first and foremost, go paperless, paperless, I was going to say wireless. <laughs> Go paperless. Y'all go wireless. Can. Go paperless. Um, I was really surprised. A lot of places, if you go paperless, will actually like give you a little discount on your bill. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not much, but I think that's kind of cool and motivating. So number one, get online. And Britain can speak to this a little bit more. Oh my gosh. Can you guys see Miles tonight? Um, get online and go paperless. That's most, going to be our number one thing. Most cable companies, cell phone companies, and so forth um, do paperless. Well, if you're on if you're on the road, you won't need a cable company anymore. Okay. Um, Starlink is paperless. But. Yeah. So go paperless. That's number one. That's going to eliminate really a lot of your bills, your credit cards, all that stuff. Most credit cards, number two, have apps. So you can always be logging in and seeing where you're at, seeing what you owe. Um, that's a whole other thing. But if you have a credit card with great cash back, you're going to be spending a lot of money mm -hmm. if you're really traveling. Um, so it's good to have a credit card to be getting those cash back points. That's a good topic too. We should talk about. We should do that. Um, Okay, so number one, start to take all your important bills that you know you're going to get, your fixed expenses, and go paperless. Number two, something that a lot of people don't um, know is you can create a P.O. box for yourself somewhere. So if you, um, like where maybe what town you were living in before, if you have family or friends there, um, you can create a P.O. box. Somebody can go pick up your mail, maybe shuffle through it and decide like, hey, this is actually important and not just junk mail. Maybe I need to get this to them. Um, you can also have your mail sent to a friend or a family. So in our case, we have our mail sent to my father who is in Georgia, which is where our permanent residency is registered. <coughs> so that's our point number two. So you're going to pick a location or a PO box on where you're going to have your mail sent. Um, if you literally have nobody that you would ever have it sent to, I'm at a loss. <laughs> <laughs> there are certain things that do require signatures and things like that. You need a certified letter, any legal documents or anything else like that, they do have to be sent certified. So you must have a physical address. Number three. Wow, you just sounded like super like, that was serious. All right. Very serious. Legal legal documents are serious. We're gonna serious have to cut business. this. Like this just went south. I love our marriage. So if you don't have anybody that you could send it to, I'm at a loss. I'm just keeping it real. Hopefully you have a friend, a family member, a coworker, somebody where you could do a PO box, even if you don't want to send your mail there, because I do understand that could be a little weird. So that's point number two. Number three, FedEx and UPS either have lockers sometimes or they have stores that you can have mail sent to. So um, oftentimes um, if we do have some mail, uh, we'll have my dad bundle that into a big folder and then go ahead and send that to us if we know we're going to be somewhere. Um, for those of you who are moving on the go constantly, there's going to be a little forethought put in that, but it is definitely doable. Um, next, which is a huge game changer, is Amazon lockers. Um, if you haven't seen them, you're going to start seeing them everywhere. It basically requires a six digit code to get whatever package you had delivered um, to open up the locker and get it. We just saw one in a mall in Florida, which mm -hmm. would have been super easy to get into. I think my sister said 
that they had one outside of Walgreens or CVS. So they're everywhere. They're popping up everywhere. So you've got your Amazon lockers now. And then lastly, what a lot of people don't know because it's just not really advertised is most RV resorts um, or campgrounds will allow packages to be delivered. In fact, a lot of them, the Amazon package or FedEx will come right to your campsite, which is mm -hmm. kind of cool. Um, we, we have um, seen it a little frowned upon for like USPS like letters envelopes mm -hmm. um just because i think that's a that's a huge undertaking for a campground so i do understand that but that doesn't mean that you couldn't have somebody um package up stuff in a box and send to you that'd be a nice workaround so um ask the campground that it doesn't ever hurt to ask and just say like we have something being delivered um, in a couple of weeks, Britain's going to have um, a pretty big piece of equipment sent to him. So we're coordinating exactly where we're going to be staying. This is a, something really big for his job. So we're going to be coordinating and checking with this campground before we book for that week that we can, in fact, have something delivered. It's so already been done. It's already been done. There you go. So there's a lot of workarounds. And then um, kind of on a funny note, and I wrote this in the blog, one of the cool things about not having a mailing address home or whatever you want to call it is it really helps with those late night Amazon orders. Mm -hmm. You know, the ones where you're buying, 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 and all of a sudden there's 10 packages at your front door. Mm -hmm. It really helps eliminate that. So those are our answers about our mail. If you have questions, drop them in the comments. You can always reach out to us. Um, please make sure that you subscribe to our channel that you like our channel, that you share it. It really helps us. We are here to help you. We're here to help you maybe navigate. If you're thinking about RVing, we're here to maybe just be some fun entertainment. Um, but anyways, thank you guys for logging in. I think our signature is always just don't wait, do what you want to do now. It doesn't have to be full-time RV. It literally can be anything. Um, I was going to show you guys miles, but he's pretty tucked back in there. So um, thanks for joining. We'll see you next week.